Hey, my friends, I'm John Laspina. I'm called the Carnivore Teacher here on YouTube. Before I was called the Carnivore Teacher, I called myself the Carb Addiction Teacher. And I could still go by that name. And that's because five and a half years ago, when I started this amazing journey of incredible health, I had epiphanies and aha moments that just blew my mind away. I had to make this YouTube channel. And I believed that I was addicted to sugar and carbohydrates pretty badly. So I called myself the carb addiction teacher. Teacher because I'm a retired school teacher. I'm still teaching here on YouTube. This video is for anyone who is not eating keto, ketovore, or carnivore. If you are a person who is eating the standard American diet, which is what's out in the grocery store in the middle aisles in boxes and packages with barcodes, you're going to restaurants and eating their food, fast food restaurants, you're eating the standard American diet. Now, what we say in my realm is we learn about nutrition. There are macronutrients and there are micronutrients. There are three macronutrients. There's protein, fat, and carbohydrates. The micronutrients are the fat-soluble vitamins, the water-soluble vitamins, and all of the essential minerals. I'm filming this on my laptop this time instead of my cell phone, and when you do certain hand signals, it does what you just saw. Like if I put my thumbs up, it's gonna give me a little thumbs up. See that? Anyway, back to my macro and micronutrient talk. So we learned that we must have protein, fat, and carbs. And carbohydrates are not essential because our liver makes just the amount that we need, about four grams based on body weight. And we can become fat adapted and feed off of the fat of our own body. We can lose weight. And that's why people first usually come to the low carb way of eating to lose weight. And then all these other wonderful, amazing side effects start happening. And you realize that you stay eating low carb for all of the other reasons, for a great emotional health for all of the other benefits that you receive, like your aches and pains and things disappeared, your problems went away. You didn't just lose the weight, which will happen, but you stay because of the other benefits. I started this way of eating by going to my kitchen and opening up my cupboards. I threw out the pancake batter and the waffle batter, and I threw out the bag of granulated table sugar I threw out the little packets of sugar and I went into my refrigerator and I threw out the ketchup because it had high fructose corn syrup. I threw out all my salad dressings because they had high fructose corn syrup and seed oils like canola oil and soybean oil. I uh, went through the refrigerator. I threw out all the old vegetables and fruits because they were going to go bad anyway real soon. And then I went into my other cabinets and I threw out all the pasta, the spaghetti that I was going to cook in the future, uh, macaroni and cheese, the oatmeal, the grits, and the potatoes, and just starchy things, everything. And then I went to the grocery store, took my shopping cart, and I pushed it around the edges of the grocery store, and I just filled up with animal products. I bought hamburger meat. I bought steaks of all kinds. I bought some chicken wings and some chicken thighs because they're fattier, better than the breast. Sometimes I bought a whole chicken. I bought lots of bacon. I read the ingredients and made sure it was clean. And sausages that were clean. Uh, steakums, which is just beef. I don't care for pork that much other than bacon, but I have had pork loin. Then I, I kind of pushed my cart past the fish area. I got frozen salmon, wild caught sockeye salmon. I went up the aisle a little bit to get some anchovies and some herring and some mackerel in cans in water, some tuna fish too in water. Then I went and got some pasture-raised eggs and I got some hard Parmesan cheese, some soft goat cheese. And yes, at the beginning, I went to the produce section and I bought some broccoli and some asparagus and some bib lettuce and I made the mistake and I bought some spinach and kale which I learned now not to do, but back then I was doing vegetables and a handful of raspberries, which I learned I shouldn't have done, but hey, I was learning. So that's why I'm sharing this video with you 
so you don't make some of the same mistakes. So I basically was a meat eater. Fatty red meat, eggs, fish, a little bit of dairy, and I did have a little bit of vegetables and some fruit. And I did that for an entire year. I lost 35 pounds. I was 195, approaching 200 pounds. I'm five foot 10. I got down to about 160, 165. And I am still, five and a half years later, I weigh, for my height, 165 pounds. I go up a pound, I go down a pound, but that's about it. It's amazing how this way of eating has maintained my weight without having to worry. And forget the number on the scale. The tape measure proves, and the clothes that I'm wearing got looser, and I had to buy new clothes. Then a year in, I decided to go ketovore and take out most of the plants because I was having problems with some of the plants. I got a kidney stone and I learned about oxalates. That's why I don't eat raspberries. That's why I won't eat chocolate. I won't eat spinach. I learned that kale has goitrogen disruptors, which disrupts your thyroid. So I just cut out almost all of the plants. And I, for three years, I stuck, it was called keto four. I had the same thing, beef, lamb, pork, poultry, fish, and eggs, cooking only in animal fats. I had a little bit of broccoli, a little bit of asparagus. I drank coffee. I had avocado. Then I was watching a lot of YouTube influencers who are carnivore, and you watch them long enough, and you're like, well, I'm basically a carnivore. All I have to do is take out the coffee, the tiny little bit of plants I'm having, like asparagus, and stop the avocado, and I'm a carnivore. So I tried that about almost two years ago, coming up on two years. My weight went down a little tiny bit more and I felt more alert, I slept better, just things heightened and got even better. Because of no caffeine, my energy level is sustained. I don't get these little dips later in the afternoon, feeling like I have to have coffee. If you're just starting, don't go straight into carnivore unless you really wanna go cold turkey and try it. A lot of people give up because it's too harsh. Wean yourself into it, wean down, take out the seed oils completely, take out all the junk food and sugar completely, and you can still have some of the plants and stuff and just wean down until you just listen to your body. So I just wanna do a quick video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up, share and subscribe. And if you know anybody who is not doing this, share this video and they can try it. What do you have to lose? You will realize you have amazing health when you do it. Have a great day.